Diesel also increased to up to 600% as the value of the Syrian pound plunged. As such, poverty among Syrians increased dramatically, which left KFC with pretty much no customers. And thus, two and a half years into the war, KFC Syria had to close its doors. Now, quick fire here. The next few years saw KFC make its way to Armenia, the first KFC in the Caucasus, Nepal, the first with an all women's KFC outlet, Cambodia, where KFC is targeted more towards the upper to upper middle class, and Yemen, which, similar to Syria, eventually had to be shut down. due to an ongoing civil war. In 2010, KFC opened in Astana, Kazakhstan, the first in Central Asia. This KFC, however, is unique in that it's the first to have served a bit of KFH on the menu, Kentucky Fried Horse, which actually isn't so strange in a country where horse is part of the national cuisine. Next was Azerbaijan with a branch in Baku. At one point, KFC Azerbaijan had the largest KFC in the world, with a 300-seater outlet inside an old Soviet railway station. It has since been overtaken by one in Ukraine, though Azerbaijan's still remains the largest in Asia. Now, let's go back to KFC Israel, because something happened in 2012. Yes, outlets nationwide were now kosher, but there was one major problem. Despite KFC's claim, the new kosher chicken did not taste the same as the original chicken. In fact, it tasted worse. There were also related issues, like the batter not sticking properly to the chicken, and the high cost of ensuring poultry was killed in accordance to kosher standards. As such, sales took a